We left New York in this plane, and in a matter of hours, we were flying over Spain. I think it's exciting to know that today, there is no place on the globe farther away than 24 hours. Who would have dreamed even 10 years ago that people could fly above the clouds in such beautiful surroundings? It's so pleasant just to sit back and relax. Meals are brought right to your seat. Just imagine cooking a dinner like this at 18,000 feet. Some of you mothers will be interested to know that several women on our plane were traveling with infants. The hostesses call the transatlantic flight the six bottle trip. Our first stop was Madrid. This bull ring is as popular as the Yankee Stadium. The Spanish bullfighters are idolized by their fans who wish them luck before each performance. If a matador fights the bulls with grace and daring, the crowd honors him, wildly tossing hats and seat cushions, even their furs into the ring. From Spain, we flew east, nearly 5,000 miles to India. This beautiful mausoleum, the Taj Mahal, was built by an emperor in memory of his beloved wife. A fairy tale in marble. Back to Italy and Rome. This is St. Peter's Square and the Vatican Guard. In the Colosseum, you can almost see the ghosts of the gladiators of other centuries. Although Venice is also an ancient city, it has a very different feeling. Venice is music, relaxation, and sun rolled into one. Finally, Paris. By this time, I was feeling right at home in Europe and began to appreciate the charm of the little shops and corner restaurants as much as the beauty of the great monuments. London was just as I hoped it would be, filled with tradition and ceremony, but friendly. Now to Germany. Once again, a beautiful, peaceful country, where little boys ride modern bicycles down ancient cobbled streets, and village people still dance the old country dances. Perhaps some of you are thinking, could I ever take a trip like that? Or could I travel to Europe alone? Of course you could. The recipe for a successful trip abroad is simple. A moderate amount of planning and a pinch of the spirit of adventure. <laughs> 